you know, you're obviously talking about Beyond Meat. It collapsed fourteen dollars. They had lower earnings guidance. Whatever the bullshit is, I, I, I never care. But in the week before, I had over 2,000 puts. That, that position would have been worth like $3 million. And they expired based, basically worthless. I lost like 200 grand. Then, you know, last week, I amassed a huge position. And by Thursday, I thought, well, these things are going to expire worthless. I might as well take, you know, I took like three grand on one, like two on another, five. Those things would have been worth, I don't know half a million, 800,000. So it's kind of funny. I had 500, I had a position of 500. Hey, Peter. How's it going? Uh, yeah, so I'm just saying, we're talking about Beyond Meat. So, you know, I got rid of all of these put options I had, you know, last week. I had like thousands and, you know, I just thought, well, I got to take some before they go off the board worthless. And so I actually, I had a, a position of 500 lots of the, I think of the 102s. And it was trading at 108 on Thursday. So I thought, well, fuck, I'm never going to get out of this thing. So I actually tried to put a bid at five cents to get out of some. And they filled me on like 120 or something. So I had like 373 left that they didn't fill. That went off the market, you know, on, on Thursday at three cents. And... By the time Beyond Meat opened on Friday, these put options went from three cents to eight dollars and fifty cents. I mean, I don't even know what kind of return that is. Sixty thousand percent, because I know I I cleared out some. I cleared out uh, seventy three at six. So the day before, that was three hundred seventy three were worth a thousand dollars, and on Friday I got rid of seventy for six for 60 grand. So it, it went up 60,000%. So I ended up making like $373,000 on the position. I should have made a couple of million, you know, so I was a little bit, you know, I, it's not the money. It's just, I've been waiting for this thing. I've been saying every freaking week to you guys, this thing can run, but it cannot hide. I said, you have to just short the stock be short the stock and you don't know when it's going to happen. And then, you know, some BS came out, you know, Friday, they lowered their guidance or whatever the, you know, the, the, the market was, uh, the price was already, the, 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 the price is the news, right? You know, I, when the news comes out, it's too late. Stock's down $15. So, and then I was fooling around with this kind of Trump stock, stock this new SPAC that came out. I bought it at 44 on Thursday. It went to 175 on Friday. And I kind of, you know, got greedy. I stuck around too long. I blew out of it about 100. So I made, I don't know, two and a half times my money. And then this morning, I mean, then Friday, so I got out of my position about 100. And then in the aftermarket, um, it starts crashing. And I just put a bid like way under. It closes like 94 in the regular session. Here, let me just go to my screen and share my screen. Um, so on Friday, this thing closes at like 94. So welcome to today's session of the uh, Boiler Room. So I think I think I was talking a little bit about this. And and again, this is just crazy emotional gambling. You know, there's no genius to this thing. So this the symbol DWAC, it's a, a SPAC, which is a special purpose acquisition company. And it merged with Trump's media corporation and they have, you know, plans for an alternative media thing, whatever. Right. So I started buying this thing at 44 bucks in the aftermarket on Thursday, went to 175 on Friday. Then it closed, you can see at $94. It went all the way from 175. You can see the high here was 175, closed at 94. So I got out of my position. 
And then the aftermarket, this thing starts crashing five, eight, 10. So I just put a bid in like way beyond there. It's, I put it at $77. Um, and it filled me like at seven o'clock on Friday night. I mean, like way into the wee hours of Friday night. And then I thought, well, today, man, I, if I could get out at 85 or 82, I'd be happy. This thing's trading at 113. Went from 77. You know, so these, these aftermarket prices, you know, make no sense. You know, you see them there, but it's not really even a reality. So you can see this is where I, um, where's this thing? So I bought this on Friday night. At 77 bucks, I bought 5,000 shares. You can see in the extended market, I got filled at 5,000 shares at 77. And I saw it opening today at 100. And I said, you know, I was going to, you know, sell out a half and then keep the other half. But I said, you know what? I'll just take it. And, uh, you know, look, it's, it's up higher now, but this is just so. I bought it at 77 on Friday in the aftermarket and blew it out at 100 in the pre-market. So before the, the markets have even opened, you know, I pocketed about 120 grand uh, just you know, right now. Right now it's trading at 113, so I might regret getting out, but you know, I'll take 120 grand on the opening. So you can see, yeah, 45, it's 1.3 million. 1.3 million dollars short. So pop out a profit for 118,000 there. So you can see how this is going crazy now. You can see how the market just going nuts. I bet like a, a million six on this position. I'm showing right now $23,000 gain.